What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be looking back at a game that we covered a while ago, maybe around Christmas or something like that, called Hammer Helm. A game where you've got to take a squad of dwarves and help them build a city from a third person perspective. The last time we played the game it was interesting, but it was definitely very, very rough in that iteration. It hadn't been released to Steam or anything like that yet. Today we're going to be checking out some of the modifications, the renovations, the beautifications, the Asians that we've been aching for to see if the game's been doing a little bit better. As of recently, as of right now, it already looks a little bit more crisp and clean, but let's find out for ourselves and jump straight on in. We're not going to be that guy right there. Uh, we're going to be a dude dwarf. Oh, we can pick our tunic color. Cool. I'm going to do that one right there. That sounds all right. My hairstyle. No, we got to keep it shaved, bruh. We got to keep it nice and high and tight because dwarves was made for fighting. And then we'll be, we'll have a black beard. That's what I like. I like the black beards on my dwarves. I always try to have a black beard up in there. And then we will create, we can rotate him. Ooh. The dwarf definitely looks a lot better than he did before. The last time we played the game, it had like N64 graphics. This time around, it's looking a little bit more crisp and a little bit more modern. And I think that's a very, very good thing. Let's go ahead and make our character. Our name will be Bottle Belly. Perfect. Bottle Belly the dwarf. It's going to be okay. Bottle Billy the Dwarf is a good name for a dwarf. That's a solid dwarvish last, last name right there. That's a name that's done a lot of drinking to earn that name. Oh my good sweet lord. The game is definitely more purdy than it was last time. Okay. Uh, so we can do the P menu and it wants me to put a storehouse in. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I think we got ourselves a nice little... I don't know if this is where I want to build. But it wants me to make a storehouse. So let's do it. Let's make a, let's make a storehouse. We'll put this guy... I don't know. How do I rotate? Z and C. I'm assuming the white is going to be the front end of the building. So we'll put it right there, nestled up under that tree. Looks good to me. Let's run on over there, and we've put a storehouse in. It wants me to do a wooden house as well, because obviously our dwarves need a place to live. I think maybe it won't initiate until I do this completely. So let's go with a wooden house right there. We're going to craft that. And then the wooden houses are going to start on the other side of the street right here. We'll give it a nice little three space. And we'll keep it all nice and organized so that we have a main street. What will your town be called? We will call it Bottlebrook. Although I want to point out, these dwarves are building on the surface, man. These are not your average dwarves right here. We've got new townspeople with traits and things. We've got clumsy and a brawler, sickly and grumpy, trendy and sleepy. I don't know. Trendy sounds cool. We'll take Golda. Let's do that. Can I take both? Oh, we can take two of them. Okay, well, let's take two of them then. Sounds good to me. And there's our little dwarves. Let's go have a look. Nice. So gold is over here, and Burrito is over here building some stuff too. I see you have black hair like I have black hair. How you doing? Golda, how are things going over here? Bottle Belly, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, nope, I don't think so. Not right now. Guys, nice job handling that building. I just wanted to give you compliments. You know, there's nothing attached to that. Speak to Burrito the Worker and ask about activity. Okay. Let's talk to Burrito. He's got a quest. Hold on, Burrito. Where are you going? Burrito, why? Burrito, why did you abandon me? Burrito! I just wanted to talk to you, Burrito. Hey, there's a perfect spot to build in our town, but I saw goblins to the east and they didn't look friendly. Okay, let's go to the east and bust up some goblins then. Find three monster camps. So we've got our inventory menu right here. We've got a sword? That's not a dwarvish weapon. That's not a dwarvish weapon at all. Dwarves don't wield swords. Dwarves use hammers. Okay, there's a little slashy action right there. Um, what is, is that north? I assume that maybe that's north. Or maybe that's where our quest is at, I don't know. Oh, there's a goblin camp right there. Let's go bust these kids up. Let's go take them out. We got this. We can make this happen, everybody. dun 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 dun, dun. Killing a goblin all day. Goblins, where you at? I'm gonna make your blood go splat. I'm gonna kick you in the ass. And so we can left click to attack, we can use R to do a power attack, or we can middle click. Okay, let me try that out real fast. So let's say that I wanted to do like a, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They coming after us, y'all. They coming after us. Let's back up a little bit. Let's back up. This dude, I will smack you right in the fancy helmet. I don't care that you got yourself, oh, there's our power attack. Ooh, dude got wiped out. What's up? What you got for me? You ain't got nothing. What are you trying to find right now? What are you trying to do? Ooh, got him with that big hit, but we took a little bit of a scratching in the meantime. Do we pick up any loot? Ooh, nice. We got 102 gold, and we've got some leather right there. Yeah, put that in our inventory. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. How much does a health potion do? 
Does a health potion do like a lot or does it do like a little 55? Okay, so we want to wait before we use that. I don't want to I don't want to waste my escrow here. I want to make sure that we got stuff taken care of. I like the new graphics though. The game looks good. I think the running mechanics and the movement could use a little bit of work. Like I don't think we should have that animation right there. Like they should either sidestep or something like that. But the game's in very very early alpha, so there's going to be time for these changes to be made. There's also a pretty considerable delay on blocking. I'd like that to snap in a little bit faster just to make it a tad more intuitive, but Oh, ain't nobody getting me. Ain't nobody getting me right there. I see what you're trying to plot right now, Goblin. I see you over here plotting, scheming, doing what goblins do. Oh, it took him out before he get that last blow off that preemptive strike right there. We got 20 more leather and a little bit more gold. Our final goblin camp is going to be off in this direction. I wonder if I can harvest anything around here. Is anything, like, harvestable, or is this purely, like, adventure mode that we're in right now? Oh, I can jump. Jumping makes me move faster. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried. That's that's shenanigans right there. That's child's play. There we go. Knock him down real quick. Keep the combo going. Oh, we got him. Got him. We had to light him up. There's also a delay when you click to attack sometimes that I'd like to see it go away. Uh, they definitely need to get the attacking animations to be a tad more fluid. But, you know, I'm sure it's on the roster for things that need to get done. Something has workers too scared to enter the storehouse. Go and investigate. All right, back to town we go. We got to be the we gotta be the mayor out here. If we don't handle it, who is going to handle it? Back inside town, I guess we got to open this place up and see what's going on. There appears to be some amount of hainting going on or something. Nobody else wants to go inside of here. Oh, there's ghostesses. I don't know how I feel about this whole ghost situation. Let's wipe these dudes. Ow! The ghost scratched me. Jerk. How could you, ghostesses? How could you? I'm going to block that. I'm going to block that. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. We're going to take the hit because we're a dwarf and that's how we fight. A dwarf never shies away from a sharp blade. We got 100 gold right there. And apparently dwarves, or I'm sorry, apparently ghosts don't carry around a whole lot of loot with them. So we're going to have to leave that on out. But there is some delicious looking bread over here. We got some things stockpiled. I wonder if these piles grow and get smaller based on how much you have. Hmm. So we can do a metal worker's shop right now. Let's go ahead and do a metal worker's shop. I assume that we'll be able to work metal there. You must build a wooden house before you do this. Okay. Let's do a wooden house then. Go ahead and line these up right here. Just like that. And then we get to choose two new townspeople. We've got Harolyn, Morena. We've got Marty's. I'm going to go with Marty's and Morena because none of these seem like they are negative traits. They might be, but they don't seem like they're negative traits. After we've done that, it wanted us to do a metal worker shop. The metal worker shop can be right across the street with some of this other fine stuff right there. All right, what else did it want me to build right now? So we've got the metal worker shop, and then we've got to wait for it to be built. So let's go ahead and cool our heels for just a minute while we wait for this thing to get all stacked up. Progress is made, and our building is quickly being erected. It's excited to see us. And we've got ourselves a metalworking thing over here. We can do Shift V to open a town menu. That's kind of a complicated thing. Can I just click somewhere to do that? Like, is there Shift V, huh? Okay, whatever. Uh, we can assign somebody to this. Just moved here. I'm happy to be here, and I have a nice house. Let's go with the person who's strong, because blacksmithing seems like it's going to take some labor. Uh, do I go? I've got resources right there. How do I make these guys? Ah, right there. So we got a left click to put them on it. Okay. Looks good to me. Uh, we apparently have a metal worker now, but it is crazy dark. And so we've got to talk to the metal worker about crafting copper items. It looks like maybe she has retired to the domicile, or has she, like, left and, oh, she's going to chop a tree right now. I cannot see at all at the moment. What's up? You want to talk to me? Thanks for building the shop. I can craft better items for you if you find copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. Okay, uh, there's some copper ore near the town, but I'm not really interested in running you guys around while it's pitch black out here. So instead, we'll wait for morning, and then we'll go take care of it, I think. Actually, it's not that dark right now. It doesn't look that bad to me. I think everything's looking okay. So we're going to go ahead, and I think this is copper ore right here, right? What is that? Ooh, ten copper ore. Get the two remaining deposits. I thought I saw one over here. Yeah, I thought something bankerly was going on on this side. I thought I smelled delicious deposits and valuable metals. Let's go ahead and mine that on out with our sword, I guess. It'd be cool if they brought out, like, a pickaxe to do that. Like, there was a little, I don't know, even though there's a progress meter or whatever to do that, it would feel more immersive to me than just smacking a, smacking an ore node with a sword. Perfect. 
What else is over here? That's just water right there. What is that? Hold on, there's something magical over here, and I need to poke it with my sword and find out what it is. What art thou? Pray tell, prithee, hail, random glowy stones, what are thee? You don't have anything to use inside of the magic pool. Okay, well, we'll just pee real fast, and then we'll be gone. It's tradition. It must be done. You have to pee in the pool. It's tradition. If you're in a body of water, it's a natural body function. All right, let's not get... Let's not get prudish about this. Everybody does it, and if they say they don't, they lie. Back in our pleasant meadow now, after the magic pool failed to dazzle us with its supposed magic. Nice job, David Copperfield. I thought you were going to be way more awesome than that. There was not a single rabbit in a single hat. Mm, with this guy right here, we can craft. Okay, we've got 30-something copper ore right now. I don't have any bars or anything like that, so maybe we should do that first. And it looks like we can just convert that over, and it's no big deal. There you go. We've converted that over. Good stuff. We can also make weak healing potions out of mushrooms, but I don't have any mushrooms right now. I can make a copper hammer. I can make an axe. That's a very dwarfy thing to make. But we could also consider possibly making some armor. Let's make a helmet. Let's make some shoulder pads. And let's make a copper bracer. That way, at least the important stuff on our body. Oh, you need two of them. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, we are looking a bit more dwarf-like right now, though. We look much more defensible than we did last time. And so we got to speak with Golda and ask to clear the mine entrance. Golda! I can't do things on my own and I need help. Can you clear the mines? I can clear the mines for you. Just give me a second. Okay. Are you going to go do that? What are we doing right now? Are we just kind of like hanging out? Oh, there she goes. Let's go ahead and follow her on over there. A perpetual worker. It looks like she doesn't want to take the log off of her back. Let's go ahead and follow Goldon over here, and we'll see what happens once we get to the mine. My expectation is that there's going to be explosives, because dwarves are known for that, too. I should be able to be a dwarf rifleman if I want to. Dwarvish guns are the coolest thing ever. Okay, maybe not the coolest thing ever. I can think of four or five other things that are way more cool. But I want it. I want it. Oh, it was that simple, huh? You just have to stand at a weird, physically impossible diagonal and hit it with an axe. See, I didn't know about the weird, impossibly diagonal. If I had known about that, then I would have been good to go. Let's go into the mines. Abandoned a long time ago, these mines are now home to many vile creatures. Before we can start mining here, you must make it safe. Okay. Well, let's go make it safe, then. What's up, shrooms? How you doing? Ow. The shrooms kind of hurt. Maybe we should not, like, play with our lives with these dudes. It seems like they have the capability to hurt me quite a lot. Do they drop anything? I guess not. We've also got some ore over here, though, and I'm okay with that. I could probably heal real fast. Let me get a potion down in me so that I'm feeling better. And then we'll whack on this for just a minute. And we've got a little bit more ore right there. That'll help out because there's still a lot of armor we need to equip before we are fully safe. And I like being fully safe. It's a little bit dark in here. I wish I had a torch or something, but I suppose I'll have to fall back on simply complaining for right now. I'm good at that, though. I have lots of skill points in complaining. One down. What you got for me? There we go. I knew he was going to swing eventually. I didn't know when he was going to does it, but I knew he was going to do it. I think we might lose one of our stamina levels when we get... Oh, you gotta time it. Okay. So there's like a timing to it. Gotcha. You can't waste a swing. So once you go into overpower mode, you can't block. You gotta automatically just dedicate to the heavy strike. Understandable. A little bit more copper ore right there. Leather's gonna become the large problem if we keep getting more copper ore like this, but... There you go. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. Yup, I know. I got your pattern down. Y'all don't scare me anymore. That 16 damage hit had me reeling for just a second like I was a fisherman. But nah, the only fish out here getting fried is you, little mushrooms. Only you. Only you. Ow, that counted? Oh, they blink before they attack. Okay, I see it now. Good. I'm trying to be careful about this. I don't want to take a lot of damage here. All right, all right, all right. We got the fisticuffs. We got this. Nothing bad's going to happen. Get him with the power hit. Yup. Block that right there. Feed it to him. Give him that cold little two-piece right there. Got him. 
Got him. And the mines have been cleared. Let me get what's out of this. Oh, we got mushrooms so I can make potions. Nice. Okay, and then we got a little bit more copper over here. Not a whole lot more to be seen, but maybe enough to get us a breastplate or some kind of protective device before we go further. Perfect. Let's go ahead and leave the mines real fast after we get our goodies. And wow, if it wasn't dark before, it's dark right now. I may have to wait till morning on this one. Give me a second. We got a new call to action. They said that there was a cave that needed to be wiped out. So being the dwarf that I am, I crafted myself a super awesome hammer, and then I frolicked my way over here because jumping is faster than walking. Look at me frolic! Frolic with me, Nerdcastle! Frolic! Frolic with me! And then we're gonna, we're gonna see the Cave of Despair? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about the Cave of Despair. Although I have double the attack power that I used to have. So we may be able to do something with this. I've also been armed with way more potions than I had. I'm gonna hack and slash. I got a hack and slash. Ow! He exploded! I didn't expect that. Okay, so there's there's a new mechanic that we gotta take into account here. This fool just exploded all over me. Mm, don't explode on me, man. I've got I've got limited I've got limited I've got like limited patience for being exploded on, and I've also got limited rules about being exploded on. And the main part of it is just don't explode on me. Oh, we got fight three now. Hopefully they can't get to me. If they can, this is going to become an issue. Go ahead. Oh, that still counted? I don't think that should have counted, but whatever. Let's not argue about it. That dude's going to come after me. You guys are the explodey ones, huh? I'm not going to take that either. Let's just be... Oh, never mind. He's not explodey. I thought he was going to be explodey, but he was not. He juked me on out. I thought he was going to have special powers that made him more explodey. I definitely think the camera could use some work, too. Like, the camera feels a little squirrely when you zoom it out. I think. Honestly, I think, like, the Fable... The game would do really well with, like, a Fable-type system where you lock onto enemies and you can rotate and the enemies are dashing and moving around and stuff like that. It's probably hard to program the AI on things like that, though. I wouldn't know. I'm not a game developer, so... You know, I'd have to... I just have to... I just have to guess. You gonna attack, huh? You gonna attack. All right, get your attacks off. Make yourself feel better. Throw your little temper tantrum. Oh, you got strong blowed. You got strong blowed on out. I wonder if you strong blow them if they don't explode. Oh, there's something over there, too. Okay, let's get this copper real fast. There we go. I gotta make myself more gear, man. I made all my stuff on my hammer right now, and I need to get some boots, like some pants. A chest piece would be nice. Something to make me feel like maybe my tummy region was not going to get stabbed by pointy objects. Apparently, I'm having trouble with that bridge right there. That's okay. We can work it out. We're a smart, we're a smart dwarf who uses his ingenuity and don't need no man. There we go. On that side, get ourselves a little bit more copper. Yup. Feel it on up right there. Good. I'm going to drink another potion real fast. Got him. I don't like it when my health is super low. When my health is low, it makes me feel nervous about my prospects for survival. I wonder if I can fall into the lava. I don't know if I want to test it out right now, though. Jump with me! Frolic dwarves! We must move more rapidly through the cave. If we don't clear this within the speed timer, it's not good enough. The gods of the dwarves, they require expediency. Found ore. An ore deposit has been found above ground. Well, that's probably good for somebody. I don't know how that affects me, but... There's nothing back there in that corner. I was hoping for maybe treasure chests or something. Frolic! Frolic! The frolicking of the dwarves can never be stopped! There is no enemy! That can stop the frolicking. I think I went the wrong way. I am of the opinion that perhaps I went the wrong way. Let me backtrack for a second. I got lost, everybody. That's how you know I'm not a true dwarf. Aha! I found the place we were trying to go. I got lost briefly, but it's going to be okay. I don't have enough stamina to defend myself right now, so... This is going to be like balls-to-the-wall berserker mode. It's all I've got. Took him. Took him. Took him, cooked him, and booked him. Ooh, more potions. Nice. Apparently, I am a cave clearer. Look out, ye bad guys who dwell inside of areas where stone has eroded away. I'm coming for you, and I've got a hammer. Oh, it's daytime now, too. All right, let's head back to town. Aha! It said that I had a. It said that I had an ore node out here. And apparently, I'm like the village gopher. Ain't nobody else doing nothing, so, you know. Pip, pip, and all that. I guess I'll go for it. Our town is right back here, though, so it's not that far of a walk. It should be perfectly fine. We'll see what it wants us to do next or if it's going to cut us off the leash and allow us to do whatever we want. 
I don't know when that point's gonna come, though, but I feel pretty solid about I mean, the game has made progress. The combat system is still a little wonky, and it's still got some rough edges. I mean, the content itself, though, like, the graphics look better. Everything looks more radiating. Like, it looks more saturated. Uh, they did a great job with the new dwarf graphics because the old ones were kind of like PlayStation 2 quality, maybe PlayStation 1 quality, and I don't think that was gonna suck a whole lot of people in. I mean, I still think some of the movement and whatnot could probably be a lot better, but speak with Morena the Worker about the past. Morena, what do you have to say right now? Apparently the game wants me to speak with you in your Wonder Woman outfit. When I was much younger, I used to love venturing outside to pick apples from a tree near our fortress. It would be wonderful if you could find a way to quickly grow an apple tree with this apple that I found. Okay. So it wants me to take this to the magic pool that we found? Ooh. Okay, we'll go to the magic pool, but we're not going to do it right now. I got to... I gotta metal work up for a second. I gotta get myself situated with some of this copper gear. I'm trying to have a lot of HP. There you go. Stamp that on out. Do it. Make me a whole bunch of squares out of a whole bunch of non-geometric shapes. Oh yes. We only have five leather left. So I can either make a bracer or I can make a shoulder pad. I'm feeling the shoulder pad. Let's make another shoulder pad right there. There we go. Now we kit it up. Now we're looking sexy. Did I ever make a helmet? I didn't make a helmet either. Apparently I've got a trash slot as well. I don't know. Let's go to the magic pool and see what it's got waiting for us here. Magic pool, what do you have for me? Magic pool, you were full of my pee. My dwarvish pee. My dwarvish pee. Apparently there's a busted ass. I wonder if there's anything inside of there. There's like a ruin over here. G to use the magic pool. The apple has been imbued with powerful natural magics. Okay. I'm going to go see what's inside of this place, though, first. This place seems interesting, like there might be leftover baubles or something. And dwarves love treasure. So I'm going to see if I can frolic my way some treasure here. Bad guys, are you in here, or is this just kind of like a placeholder for later? I wonder if we can build this up later on and, like, move into it. would be kind of cool. What is that? That looks like an object that does not look like any other object that we've seen so far. It makes a sound when I hit it. <gasps> a quality stone. Ooh, nice. What is quality stone used for? Splatty don't know. Splatty has no idea what a quality stone is used for. But it looks like we can mine it. Nice. Can I knock down a tree? Is that possible? It looks like I can. What is this right here? Can I break this? It's got a sconce on it. And I want the sconce because the sconce should be at my house. And more awesome. Apparently there's a monster camp around here somewhere, but I ain't seen hide nor hair or nothing sinister in the area, so... I guess I'll just wait till I stumble across it. I don't know what happens if we leave it up and running. What is that over there? That looks new. That thing's got a different coloration to it. It's all spotty. It's like a Dalmatian rock. Hold on, I gotta find out. Maybe it's just the spots from the tree shadow? It is. Well, we already started smacking it, so... Might as well stick to it now. Is that inside my inventory? Used to build structures. Put it inside your storehouse and make furniture. Nice. Okay. I guess we'll make some furniture or something out of it. That sounds like funsies. Back to base we go, but we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Hammerhelm. If you wanted to go and get it for yourself, all you got to do is look down below in the description. Aside from that, I am your host. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out more than you know. And I will see you all next time. Take care of everybody, and hi-do.